Uh, in the previous video, we were discussing uh, about the solution, solving of solution of a quadratic equation by the method of factorization. We are going to continue with that and we will do a few more problems. A few more problems can be done on that and we will see it. Now from the your exercise only, from your book, I am taking a few problems. <coughs> and now for example, the third problem in question number one, sub question third, the problem is find the roots of the following quadratic equations by factorization. The problem is root 2x square root 2x square plus 7x plus 5 root 2 5 root 2 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 now this is the problem and we are asked to find the roots that is the values of x I told you that always in a quadratic equation there will be two roots or two values of x will be there. We have to find it out. Now here the coefficient of x square is root 2 and the last term that is the term with, which has no x the constant that is plus 5 root 2. So if I multiply these two, it will be 5 into root 2 into root 2 is root 4 or it is 2, square root of 4 is 2. So that will be 10. That will be 10. And the product here root 2 x square is there. So 10 x square it will be. The product of this and this. The product of first and last term will be plus 10x square. Now plus 10x square is the this thing plus 10x square. The factors the splitting it can be split into 5x into 2x. Now both should be plus or both should be minus. Now the sum of 5x plus 2x the sum the midterm is plus 7x so both should be plus here. so it can be split the given equation can be split as root 2x square root 2x square this is the given equation now this can be split like this root 2x square plus 5x both are plus this is also plus this is also plus so that plus into plus is plus 5x plus 2x plus 5 root 2 is equal to 0 now I have split this 7x into two parts 5x plus 2x such that the product of these two the sum of these two is the middle term. The product of these two is the uh, sum of uh, the product of these two is the equal to the product of first and last terms. Now, in these two, the common factor is x. So, if I remove x there, root two x plus five. This is one plus here root 2 is the common factor root 2 into x plus 5 is equal to 0 so this is common here yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. this should be if I remove root 2 here root 2 x plus 5 is equal to 0 you will get the same here and here both same so root 2 e into x, uh, root 2x plus 5 multiplied by x plus root 2 
is equal to 0. So root 2 x plus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus root 2 is equal to 0. If this is 0 then root 2 x is equal to minus 5 or x is equal to minus root 2. Here x is equal to minus 5 by root 2 or x is equal to minus root 2. These are the two roots, two roots of the equation, quadratic equation. Now, a quadratic equation can be given in the form of a sentence also. See, the next problem I am taking is like this. The problem number 2 in exercise 10.2. Find two numbers whose sum is 27. Whose sum is 27. And product is I'll take the third one, fourth one. Find two consecutive positive integers, sum of whose squares is 365. Find two consecutive positive integers. Find, this is the problem, two consecutive consecutive positive integers positive integers whose sum is uh, sum of whose squares sum of whose squares is 365. This is the problem. This she says you have to solve. That is, you have to find the roots. You have to find these integers. The consecutive integers means, say, 2 and 3 are consecutive integers, or 10 and 11 are consecutive integers. Consecutive integers means coming one after the other. They are called, any, any numbers which are coming one after the other are called as the consecutive integers. Now here, first we have to make a quadratic equation, then we have to solve it. This sentence, he says, let the positive, the solution is like this. Let the integers be, let the integers be x, one of the integers is x and the other is x plus 1, x and x plus 1 are the integers, two consecutive integers, right. Then this sentence can be written into a equation like this, sum of their squares, sum of their squares means the one number is x and its square is x square, the other number is x plus 1 and its square is x plus 1 the whole square, the sum of these two, the sum of these two is equal to 365, is given like this. So this is the equation. Now it is not in standard form. So I have to make it into standard form. x square, it will be like that only, plus x plus 1 the whole square. Now this must be uh, expanded as per this a plus b the whole square it is the square of sum of two quantities so we i must use the formula a plus b the whole square you know is a square that is x square plus 2ab that is 2 into x into 1 2 into a into b plus b square that is 1 square this is equal to 365 so, x square plus x square is 
2x square, 1x square plus 1x square, it is 2x square plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 365. Now, 2x square plus 2x plus 1, this 365 must be taken this side, it will be minus 365 is equal to 0. Always this side must be equal to 0. So it will be 2x square plus 2x minus 365 plus 1 means it will be 364 is equal to 0. Now we can keep it like that or we can make it slightly uh, easier by removing the common factor. Here you can see 2 is the common factor. 2 into x square plus x minus 364. If you remove 2, 182 will remain there. Is equal to 0. So x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0 divided by 2. This 2, if I send it that side, it will come down, come in the denominator, 0 by 2. 0 by anything is 0 only. 0 divided by anything is 0 only. Here, I get x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0. Now, I got the quadratic equation. This is the standard quadratic equation and I have made the equation. Now I must solve it by the method of factorization. So this is the equation x square x square plus x minus 182 is equal to 0. Now the factors of x are x into x is x square, put this mark, 182 is there, minus 182, 182, it can be divided by 2, so it will be 9, 1, 91, then it can be divided by 7, 7, 1's are 7, 2 remains 21, 7, 13's are 21, 7, 3's are 21. Now, see here, uh, it can be, 182 can be got as 14 into 13, 7, 2's are 14, 14 into 13 is 182, 182, so the one factor is 14 and the other factor is 13. 14 into 13 is 182. It is minus 182. So one of them should be minus and the other one should be plus. Now which should be minus and which should be plus? You will decide it by this. If you cross multiply, this is 14x and this is 13x. The middle term here is plus 1x. So this should be plus, bigger one should be plus, smaller one should be minus. So this is plus, this is minus. So after this, the factors are, so the factors are x plus 14, x plus 14 into x minus 13 is equal to 0. One is this, x plus 14 into x minus 13. Now, x plus 14 is equal to 0 or x minus 13 is equal to 0. If this is 0, then x is minus 14. If that is 0, then x is plus 13. Right. Now, he says positive integers. So, we have to take only the positive root. We cannot take the negative root that is to be 
this is not possible. So this will not be taken. We will take only x is equal to 30. Now one number is 13 and the other number is x is 13. So x plus 1, the consecutive number is 14. So the consecutive number, positive integers are 13 and 14. You must write the answer as, you must write the answer as, sir, x is equal to 14. x plus 1 is equal to 14. That is the consecutive number. 14. Right. So the two positive, two consecutive positive integers, sum of whose squares is 365 or 13 and 14. That is how the answer must be. Uh, the next problem is the altitude of a right angle, right angle triangle. The altitude of a right angle triangle is 7 centimeter. 7 centimeter less than its less than its base. Altitude of a triangle. Altitude of a triangle of a triangle is 7 cm less than its base. Full stop. If the height sorry, if the hypotenuse is if the hypotenuse is 13 cm 13 cm find the other two sides find the other two sides other two sides this is this is the problem this is to be done using the theory of quadratic equations now we have a rectangle triangle here We have a right angle triangle. This is the right angle triangle, let us say. So you know the, the side opposite to the right angle is called as the hypotenuse. This is given as 13 centimeters. Now, this is the base. This is the altitude. Altitude. Now, let us say, I will I'll assume this is x. The base is x, the length of the base is x. Let the let the length of base length of base of the triangle be x x centimeters. Why I am taking centimeter? Because I got news is given as 13 centimeter. So all the sides will be in centimeter. Then the altitude altitude is that is this side is x minus 7 he says it is 7 centimeters less than the base so it is x minus 7 x minus 7 centimeter now the formula for the formula to be used here is we can call this as by any name I can call it as PQR. PQR is the triangle, right angle triangle. So this is the figure. You can draw a rough sketch. Now we know that PQ square plus QR square is equal to PR square. That is the square on the hypotenuse the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. This is according to Pythagoras theorem. You know that. So PQ is X. So PQ square will be X square. QR is X minus 7. So X minus 7, the whole square is equal to 13 square. 13 square. That is the equation. I found an equation. Now, I have to bring it to the standard form. How I will bring it? x square plus x minus 7 the whole square. Now this should be opened. This should be expanded using the formula a minus b the whole square. Here it is minus sign. 
In the previous problem, I had taken a plus b the whole square. Now I will take a minus b the whole square. So that is x square minus 2 into x into 7. a square minus 2ab plus b square that is 7 square is equal to 13 square is 169. 169. So I get 2x square minus 14x plus 49 minus 169 if I take it this side is equal to 0. 2x square minus 14x minus 120 minus 169 plus 49 if you add the sum is minus 120 is equal to 0. To simplify it again I can take out 2 as common factor x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0. So x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0 divided by 2 that is again 0 x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0. Now I got a quadratic equation in the standard form. In the standard form I got so x square minus 7x plus minus 60 x square minus 7x minus 60 is equal to 0. This is the this thing. I have to solve it by the factorization method. So the method is like this x into x is x square. This is minus 60. That should be factorized into this thing. So 60 divided by 2, 30 divided by 2, 15 divided by 3, it will go 5 times. These are the prime factors. Okay. Now I must get minus 7. This is minus 60. So, it can be taken as 2 into 2 into 3. This is 12 and this is 5. I can, I have to take 12 and 5. I have to take 12 and 5. 2 twos are 4, 4 threes are 12. 12 into 5, 12 fives are 60, right. This is minus 60, so I must take one as minus and the other as plus. That depends upon this. 12x this way. One way I get 12x. The other way I get 5x. Now if I add these two, I must get minus 7x. So this should be minus and this should be plus. 5 should be plus and that should be minus. So like that. Uh, now, now, the factors are x minus 12 into x plus 5 is equal to 0. So x minus 12 must be equal to 0 or x plus 5 must be equal to 0. x is equal to 12 or x is equal to minus 5. x is equal to minus 5. Now, the length of a side cannot be minus, it cannot have a negative value. So it, it, it is not possible, that answer is not possible. We have to take only this. So x is, x is, that is x we have taken as the base. So length of base, length of base is equal to 12 centimeter. And length of base is 12 centimeters. Length of altitude or height altitude is x minus 7, x minus 7, that is 12 minus 7, that is 5 centimeters, 12 and 5 centimeters. So I had drawn the triangle, I had drawn the triangle there, 
we have drawn a triangle. We have to always draw that a rough figure has to be drawn to understand the problem. Now this was the given problem. This was the given problem. I have taken this as P, this as Q, this as R. This was X. Now I got this as 12. And this was X minus 7. I got this as 5. And this was given as 30. Now you can check whether the answer is correct. Now 12 square plus 5 square that is 144 plus 25. The total of these two is 169. 13 square is also 169. 169. So the answer is correct. PQ square plus QR square that is 12 square plus 5 square is equal to 169 and PR square is also 169. So they are equal. That means the answer is correct. You can check it and you can uh, do a number of problems by putting your own problems. You can make your own problems and keep solving them for this thing. If you are satisfied uh, with uh, the method, if you have understood it, if you have benefited from this lecture, you can recommend the video to your friends. If you are not satisfied, you can call me up and say what is the problem, where is the problem. My number is 9341262367. This is my number. You can call and tell me what is the problem, why you are not understanding, what is the problem, so that I can solve your problem. All right. Now, this is about the factorization method. The next method is the method called completing the squares method, solving a quadratic equation by completing a square method that has been removed from the syllabus for the coming examination. So I will not be doing it. Second method I will not be doing. I will take up the third method in the next video. Thank you.